uh, greetings so today we are focusing on number patterns but it will be just a revision we will specifically focus on the questions that are frequently asked but they are easy to approach so that we try to score as many marks as possible in these kinds of questions but before everything we're just going to understand two simple and basic concepts i think it's just two things we need to be familiar with but i'm sure we are familiar with already the first one is tn so we have to understand what this is so when we're talking about tn we're talking about the value of the term of the term in position n so tn is the actual value of the term in position n the o tn is the general formula when they say find the general formula they still refer to tn sometimes they will say find the nth term still they are referring to tn or they will say find the last term the last term is still tn hence when doing whatever and they give you the last term in a place of tn you you will put that last that that, that last uh that last term so tn last term and the term general formula or the actual value of the term in position n and n is the position of the term position of a term so n is just a position hence n will always be a natural number a natural number so when you're talking about natural numbers we're talking about one two three and so forth you will never find n as um, a decimal a fraction or a negative integer you will never find n because n is the position imagine me saying um I'm, posi uh, I'm position number 2.5 in class so that wouldn't really make practical sense so you have to ensure that always n is a natural number because n is the position uh, with this being said i think we might just rush straight to the questions and try to to answer those questions okay then we're gonna start with the first question uh the first four terms of the first differences this is the key term these are the first four terms of the first differences of uh, a quadratic sequence we've got 5 9 13 and 17. 5 9 13 17. this is the these are the first differences of a quadratic sequence not the quadratic sequence itself then what we're looking for we're looking for the nth term of the sequence as i've said the nth term the general formula and the last term that is one and the same thing then i'm looking for the difference here so the difference between the it's four 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 but this is, this seems like a linear pattern, but it's actually quadratic. There are quadratic um, kind of terms we haven't written. As you know that the, di the first differences of a quadratic sequence are linear. So that's why this seems like a, a, linear, a linear sequence. What do we know about calculating the formula of a quadratic sequence we know that the formula for a quadratic sequence is given by tn is equal to a n squared b 
plus bn plus sorry let me rub this off um plus c so we know that a is equal to 4 over 2 a is equal to 2 the formula for a is d2 over 2 d2 means second difference here is the second difference here is d2 that is d1 then up there we would have the actual quadratic sequence <laughs> okay let's see and try to continue okay now we have a we need b let me first underline here we need b so we know that 3a plus b is equal to the first term of the first difference i said the first difference is d1 so the first term of the first um difference is 5 so we've got 5 a a is 2 so here we have 3 times 2 plus b is equal to 5 so b is equal to negative 1 we know this and then lastly a plus b plus c is equal to uh, a plus b plus c is equal to the very first uh, term of the sequence so it will be a plus b plus c is equal to question mark do we have the very first term of the sequence? No, we don't. Meaning, this uh, method is out. We can't use it. But what can we use? What, info, what other information do we have? Here, the 61st term is uh, 7383. So we know that T... 61 as i've said that when they say 61st you know it's the position meaning it's the value for what for n as we said previously so t61 is equal to 7383 so our general formula now is going to be t n is equal to the value for a2 2, 2 n squared b negative 1 so it's minus n plus c we don't know c let's say shift okay but we 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 know that um t61 is equal to 7383 so we say um term number 61 is equal to 2 into 61 uh, squared minus 61 plus c term number 61 the term uh, in position 61 the term in position 61 is 7383 7383 is equal to uh, you will press your calculator and get 7442 minus 61 plus c then you will get your c as 2 now you have your c so you've answered the question because now you know the general formula for that sequence is 2n squared minus n plus 2 Uh, let me just now you have your five marks now we're moving on to the second question second question we want uh, to determine the 
we determine uh, between which two determine determine between two oh I missed something there you are actually determining between which two consecutive terms is the first difference equals to uh, 2021 between which the, the those those supposed to be a which around the uh, which two consecutive terms is the first difference equals to 21 okay what you need to understand here is that they, they are asking you that um the, the difference the constant difference meaning d1 uh, in a value of d1 that is equal to 2021 is between which two terms of a quadratic uh, sequence note here uh, the first term of the first differences of a quadratic sequence is between term number one and term number two and nine as nine is the second um, term of the first differences of the quadratic sequence will be between term number two and term number three this one term number three and term number four of the quadratic this one will be between term number four and term number five of the quadratic so that's how it works meaning um if we can find uh the position of uh the term 2021 we can actually know between which terms of the quadratic sequence is uh, 2021 found if we can know uh the the, the position of 2021 in the first differences that means now we need to calculate the general formula of the first differences so for the first differences the general formula definitely will be linear because there, there, there is a constant uh difference that means we are viewing these first differences as the actual sequence as the as they are sequential as you can see so for a linear or for a linear pattern you know it's tn is equal to a n minus one times d and a is five. Uh, it is five into n minus one. The difference is four. Then this will be four n plus one. Now we have the pattern. We need to find the position now of uh, twenty twenty one. So the value of the term in a position, we write it in a place of Tn. So we'll say 2021 is equal to 4n plus 1. Then we will solve and n is equal to 505. So we know that in the first differences, that means in this line, in this line, in the first differences, uh, 2021 is in position number 505 meaning in the actual quadratic sequence then um, 2021 would be between term number 505 and term number 506 what am i getting all this information from if you get you, you check the very first term of the the, the quadratic sequence it came when we were minusing the second term from when we actually when we were subtracting the first term from the second term then we get we got the first term of the first differences then in quadratic we subtracted the 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 the, the third term i mean we, sub, we subtracted the second term from the third then we get we got the second uh the second term of the first differences then for the third term of the first differences we subtracted the fourth we subtracted the third actually term of the quadratic sequence from the third term of the quadratic sequence meaning for the 505th term of the first differences we must have subtracted the 
505th uh, term of the actual quadratic sequence from the 506th term of the quadratic sequence. So that is how you calculate or that is how you approach uh, this question. We'll continue with more revision and um, different uh, questions which are, are common that you need to score marks on. But if you have questions or something is unclear regarding these, you're more than welcome to check the contact details and make sure you contact me then you may have further discussions regarding this.